So cyber marketing. Online marketing is one of the most effective ways to reach audience in today's age because everybody and everyone has a cell phone right now. Uh, my 15 year old brother got an iPhone that's better than mine. You know, everybody has cell phones. Uh, you can target people based on age, country, gender, um, what they do online. You can target them based on what they're searching. You can retarget them later on once they come to your website. So there's a lot of matrix you can use in online marketing that you can't really do with traditional marketing, like a newspaper or a magazine. You can't do that. Um, and then the word of mouth travels really fast. You know, the word of mouth for a business is very strong, but online it's even better and stronger and it's easier. Nowadays, if you post something nice, a person can share it to 5,000 people in one click. And then, boom, they just advertised your business on your behalf. But the trick is to create something that's shareable, enjoyable, and some, some people can relate to, so they can share it, you know? Um, people find comfort in surfing the web. So if you're advertising online, you want to make sure that when people are searching, you want to make sure that they can find you. And they find joy in that, you know? When's the last time you guys searched for a place to go eat? Today, there you go. You search for it, and then when you found it, you f you felt like you accomplished something, right? Like, dude, I just found this place. Or you tell your your friend, wow, look, I just found this place, you know, and it's awesome. Um, so it's the same thing. People get that joy. Um, we're gonna over go over content marketing. This is how it all starts, you know. Uh, content marketing is your your writings, your brochures, your blogs, what's on your website. Um, what's on your business plan, you know? Um, so that's number one. Number two is your videos. Are you, are you doing any videos for your brand? Um, are you explaining how you were cooking your breakfast burrito? Are you, you know, showcasing your product? Because people, they don't care about your company. They wanna see what's in it for them. And if you can show it to them, then it's, it's easier to sell them right later down the road. Um, photos. GIFs, moving videos, um, audio is big right now, podcasting, a lot of people are making a lot of money uh, on podcasting. Um, so usually what I do is I create videos, and out of these videos, I take the sound and I make it a podcast. So it's two in one. Um, and all of, these, all of these things right here are branding ideas or branding tactics. But unless you start pay the platform that they're on to advertise it, it doesn't count as marketing, right? And then we're gonna go into marketing uh, in a little bit. So content creators, who's gonna create content for you? Who's gonna create videos, photos? Well, number one, it's you. You know, it's me. When I started my company, I was recording my own videos. You know, I was just, hey, what's up? My name is Yusuf Alize. This is what I do. I'm in my office. We just got a new office. Um, we just got this, we just got that. Um, I'm doing an interview with some people that are doing, I record everything and I put it all out there. So people can trust me, they can trust the company, they can trust everybody that's working for, for us. Um, another person that can create hire for you is you can hire somebody. When I get really busy, I hire people to do my content for me. So you can always hire people to get your content done consistently. Because if you create one video once and that's it, and it doesn't go viral, then you have to try again. Um, and that's when uh, you have to really focus on ongoing content. I'm good at marketing, I'm just gonna help other businesses market their business. Um, at that time, I had no you know, job but to work at a nightclub at age 19. And that's how I was basically paying my bills. Um, after a while, I got fired from that, that nightclub. And I didn't have no other choice but to be a dental assistant. And I hated it. I hated looking at like teeth and you know all these mouths and you know I hated it. So um, I used that money that I saved at the nightclub and I, I started media traffics. And for two years straight, I was just learning, learning, experimenting, doing a lot of things that didn't work, right? And then later on, we, we, we established a business model to help a client in a different way, in a consistent kind of way where we provide value to them throughout the whole campaign. 
and one of their uh, marketing piece or video, you can say, went viral. You know, and their restaurant went from an empty place to a very busy restaurant. And so they're like, hey, stop those ads. This, this ad is like, it went viral. We don't need to like pay money on it no more. So in 2017, we broke a new revenue record. We started working with people all across the world, Nigeria, Dubai, um, all over uh, San Diego, United States, even Canada. We have clients from everywhere. And just because we experimented so many marketing ideas until one really worked, and then it started again as those clients. Um, so let's move on a little bit. Who's this presentation for? Um, this is for business owners. Uh, for managers that are managing businesses, uh, entrepreneurs, if you want to try and create a business for yourself, like this guy right here, he does films and he, he wants to create a, a business where he helps businesses to do their films, you know? And if this is for students. If you're studying to become, you know, uh, have a certificate in business degree or a marketing degree, then this is uh, for you. You can get a lot of value of this. So what's the objective? of this presentation. The objective is mainly uh, give you like actionable ideas to take home tonight and study and take a look at. Who's, who's here using social media? Pretty everybody. sure everybody. Everybody's using I'm social media? I'm pretty sure everybody. So once you're scrolling down, you're going to see some ads, you know? And then you're going to see what I'm talking about later on when, I, when I'm talking about these ads. Um, we're going to teach you new different methods of marketing. Marketing. What kind of marketing there is out there? Free marketing, uh, cheap marketing, content marketing. We're going to go over all that. And then we're going to learn about advertising creation. You know, when, how do you create an advertising and um, content? And then we're going to go on how to study your data. Once you advertise something, you ad you create a campaign. How to study the data that comes out of this campaign. Every one of you guys. In here is an influencer, whether you're influencer, your kids, your friends, your family, you're an influencer. So what you do reflects on the people around you, you know? Um, and the more you impact people's life, the bigger influence you become. All the stuff you make, the videos, the blogs, all, whatever you do has to go on your website. Your website has to be a hub for all of your information. And you want to make it easy for people to search for that piece of information, right? So everything has to go on your website, whether it's visible or in pages that don't, don't seem visible. It's still good for your SEO. People can find you and find your content. So now let's move on to free marketing. This is people's favorite subject because it's, it's free. They don't have to pay anything. But here's a twist. It's really hard. You know, you got to put in a lot of effort and work to get your content out, out there for free. Now, some of these ways to get your business out there for free is join online groups, whether it's Google groups, Facebook groups, uh, LinkedIn groups, you join these groups and then you become kind of like a knowledgeable person in that area and you start giving them like advice and um, maybe give them um, tips about your own business and how you created it and then later on the, down the road, um, advertise your business. You know, it takes time, but it works. I've done it before. Um, post on ongoing uh, nonstop content. You know, if you keep posting, eventually something will pop up. Even though the algorithms are not on your favor, they're on the advertiser's favor, you might have something go viral. But you have to keep posting ongoing live videos like I'm doing right now. I'm doing a live uh, photos. Whatever you post, you just need one piece to go viral, and then your life could change with social media. And you guys have seen that before. Um, so post on open groups, you know, about your passion and helping certain people. We, we talked about that. Find your dream clients and send them a direct message to establish relationship. You know, like LinkedIn is my favorite to do that. There's a lot of business owners. Um, another thing is Facebook. You can find your dream client and then add them as a friend. And then send them a message, direct message. Hey, my name is Yusuf Elias. I have a marketing company, and I was wondering if you needed marketing. That's it. You know, you don't have to make it long. You don't have to make it um, weird or put a lot of links in it. That's it. Just a short two sentence. People can read it real quick. So high marketing production. So after you do your ads, you're gonna have to, you know, monitor your data. 
So in other words, let's just say, for example, you spend $100 on Facebook ads, correct? And you got 100 clicks, 100 people clicked on your website, and only two people or 20 people, that's 20% on average, opted in for your offer. Whatever your offer might be, they opted in to get that offer. Um, now you have email list or information, in most cases, like their phone numbers or email of 20 people. And then you only sell to two of these 20 people. So that's 2% conversion ratio <coughs> on your $100. And let's, let's just say your, your product is $60 profit. You know? So in this case, you're making 120 Are you making money right now? You just spend 100 and you're making 120 back. Are you make, you're making some profit. So you can keep doing it. You can give them 100 and they give you two sales in return over and over and over again. You know? And then, but it's not, it's easier said than done. You, have, you always have to test your, your, your page. Is it converting at 20%? If it's not converting, you have to change it. Um, your sales page, is it, is, are people buying off your sales page? If it's not, you have to change it. So there's a lot of stress that goes into marketing, but consistency and learning from your mistakes is what really makes it easier down the, down the road. Um, so high marketing production, how to do high marketing production. Right now, in today's age, everything is so fast. You have to have high marketing production, you know? You have to have a team that's doing things for you. You can't do it by yourself. And you have to produce a lot of content so you can keep your pages fresh and current, right? You can hire a team to do your marketing as a company, and you can focus on your own thing. You know, like if you're um, a plumber, you, you don't want to be out there doing marketing and then not focusing on doing plumbing. You know, they, you have to be focused on plumbing, doing your job right, every client is happy, and then you have to have a team that's getting you the clients. That's a good system to, you know, grow a business. But if you're a business owner that's doing everything at once, trying to do, be everywhere at the same time, then you're spreading yourself thin and you're not getting anything done. Um, another thing is, you can do it yourself. If you're, if you're working like insane amount of hours, like I did when I first started, I did it myself. You know, I did the content, I did everything myself because I had no other choice. I had no money to spend on ads. You know, so I did it myself. Another thing, you can abuse the social media channels. I'm, I'm giving you permission right now to, if you start a business, post as much as you want because there is no limit. That's number one. Number two, it doesn't matter what people think. You know, hey, you're posting too much. So what? You know, I want to promote my business. What's wrong about that? You know? Um, post as many as you want. There's no limit, so, and it's free. Um, find quality in the quantity. So the more videos you make, the more things you have in your uh, bag of content. And then you can always find the best in that content, you can start advertising it. And then if that works, boom, you got a winning campaign. So the more content you create, the better chance you have of finding good quality content in between. You know, this content today might not be as good, but the class from last time could be good, and I could pick it up and put it in an ad and do something with it, and then promote my business. You can use anything that could, you could think of. So for today's homework, for you guys, um, it's pretty simple. Um, I don't want you to do anything or fill out any paperwork. Uh, but I want you to find an advertising campaign or a strategy online, and I want you to study it. Write down their copy, you know, and understand why they wrote that copy, the message when they first, you know, the description. Understand why they wrote that copy, and then look at the content that they used. Why did they use content like that? Did they get your attention when you were scrolling? Um, did they use something to interrupt you from scrolling? It's called pattern interrupt strategy, where you're just scrolling and then something interrupts you, makes you look. You know, did that happen or it did not? You know, you so put that on a piece of paper and try to analyze it and try to see is this the right ad for you? Is, are they targeting me the right way? If they are, then they're doing a good job. And then the next thing I want you to click on the ad and find out where are they taking you? Are they taking you to a page to fill out information? Are they taking you to a place where you're gonna buy something? And if they're a business that's similar to what you're trying to start, buy their product. See, see what's going to happen behind the scenes. 
And then if it's really a business that's out there and they're making money, there's nothing wrong with replicating their process, cloning their system. You know, that's how I give my clients a lot of results. Sometimes I get on a client that I've never worked before, that I've never done anything before. For example, I, I did a I did a marketing for this um, uh, this guy who does uh, yard design. He does rocks and yards and turfs and all that stuff. And I've never done something like that before. And I told him, I was like, dude, I've never done rocks and turfs and regarding business before, but I'm gonna give him my best shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clone the best converting landing page out there and I'm gonna try to do some good stuff. So that's what we did. We found a good converting website in the gardening area and then we just kind of replicated it but made it more personalized to this brand. And we didn't make it seem alike at all, you know? But the conversion ratio was the same and even better than the competitors. So now he's getting leads every single day and he's getting his phone ringing just because we just copied someone else. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can do it too. You're going to learn something new about marketing daily. Every day, like if you have, you know, downtime and you want to learn something, just Google something. Like how to do marketing on Facebook, how to do marketing on YouTube. All the information is out there. You don't really need to pay like a lot of money to get this information. Everything is out there. It's just a matter of you getting out there and learning this stuff. You know, that's what I did. You know, when I first started, I didn't have money to buy a thousand dollar course or a thousand five hundred dollar ticket to a seminar. So the only thing I could do, the only thing I could do is basically go out there and search for information myself. But right now it's different. Once you scale up, you can get a coach to coach you how to do marketing. I have a, a million dollar marketer that's coaching me every single day. You know, if I need anything, I just call him. Hey, I'm stuck. I need to do this right now. And then he walks me through the process and you know helps me fix the problem. Um, another thing is write a marketing plan. Have a checklist. You know, before you start doing all the marketing, um, create a checklist. What do I need to do? You know. And if you guys don't have a checklist, I have one on our website. You can download it. It's completely free. You don't have to put an email or anything. Just give you the direct link. But for people that are not you guys or my clients. They have to opt in with their email to get that checklist. They get that, that checklist and then they get an upsell. Hey, I have a marketing course for $7. It's the price of a burrito, you know? Would you like to grow your business for $7? That's what you're getting, boom, boom, boom. And then if they don't take that, that um, product, cool. You know, I still have their email, I still message them, hey, let's do a consultation, let's go over your business plan and on and on and on, and that's how we've, we've accumulated 10,000 emails or people. Um, so that's basically what it is. Um, we have that checklist on the website, and then I wanna give you guys a disclaimer. Like, marketing is not easy. Just because I could do it, doesn't mean anybody else can do it, you know? Because it's, it really takes a lot of hard work and dedication. And a lot of times you're just gonna be like, scratching your head, like, why isn't it working? You know, why is nothing working, you know? But it just takes that extra step to go forward and find out what's really working. And it only happens by education, experience, you know, and try and errors. That's the only way it will happen, you know? And education, that's the most important thing. Um, let's see, we got more slides. No, that's it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know about creating content, creating video ads, where to create content, shoot them up right now. Yeah, go ahead. How do you charge for a service? How much do I charge for my yeah. services? It depends, it depends. Each client is different. Each client uh, want different things. Uh, sometimes they already have, like let's say, Google Ads in place, so they just need like Facebook ads or they, j they need a new website. It depends, you know, we work based off the, the consultation we have and we find out like what do they need and then we create a package that could help them and you know allow us to do the most with that kind of like amount that we give them. For example for a new business they don't have anything they don't have social media don't uh, you start co uh, charging for the consultation? No and so it's a free consultation it's a free consultation I even give them a free checklist I give them a free guide 
I give them free books sometimes, and then I explain to them what do I do, and then they they get to choose. I'm like they get to choose like based on what I show them. They're like okay, I want some Facebook ads, I want Instagram engagement, I want some content, and I want to make some videos. How much would this cost? And then we put a price together, and if they accept, they can sign digitally or in person. Or if they if they want a calendar, they can be like, okay, I like the stuff, but how about like 800 a month? Or how about 700? And I'm like, okay, but we're gonna take this off, we're gonna take that off, and you're gonna be left with this for 700. Does that make sense? Or do you want that? And they're like, okay, and then we move forward. And usually we do a three months contract to build everything out and find out the right campaign for them. Because sometimes it can happen from the first month and when we find a winner, and then we're just running that throughout forever, we have clients for two, three years that are still been with us, and they're running the same ad for two, three years. Um, and sometimes it takes three months, two months to find a winner. We ne it's never predictable, but it's never more than three months, you know? Because that's, that's, and that's why we put that three months window. It's never more than three months, because we keep trying every single day, new ads go up, we take them down, it don't work. We they go up. We take them down, it don't work. So until we find a winner, that's that's the one we're gonna go with. Yeah. Can you expand on uh, podcasting? How do you start, and how you can use that for your business? Okay. So podcasting is very interesting. Um, you can either take it from videos, or you can uh, record using your phone. And then in order to upload your podcasting. Uh, there's many uh, podcasting companies that's going to publish your podcast like iTunes and there's like other uh, apps for podcasts. So what I do is I just search for podcasting. Um, so search for podcast publication company and try to find the cheapest one. You know, they have different prices um, and then use those. And if, if you want to make your, uh, your, your voice content, you can use your phone. You can, you can create a video. I, I, I tell people all the time, you're already going to talk about something. Make a video. I'll put it on YouTube and then take the audio out of that video and then just use that audio as your podcast. You know, A lot of people are doing it. Or if you want to do interviews, you can interview people on those podcasts and upload them with your company name and your keyword. So if people are searching, they can find you. Yeah. I'm not I'm not really big on podcasts anymore though. Um, I was for a little bit and I was posting like crazy, but I wasn't getting the attention I was I always wanted. And um, but it's good. Some people really have that podcast voice, you know? And if you if you have it then it can work for you big time. And it all goes back to trying errors. You gotta find out your platform. What is it that you're most confident with? What is it that's working best for your business? And all that happens when you try different things, you try different campaigns, and, and figure out what, what's working for you. So everybody here is working on a business plan. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what would be the minimum that somebody that's starting a business must have to have a presence online? And how much of the advertising should be on the internet, and how much should be traditional advertising? Yeah, you can read. So, you can start a business with zero dollars. You know, no money. Like I, I mentioned earlier, you can use Webly or Wix.com to start a business, but you're gonna have to might pay some money to the state, to the state advisory, to create create an LLC. So if something wrong happens, you're protected. Uh, if your business is, has to do with something dangerous, you have to have business insurance, you know. But creating your, your online presence takes nothing. You know, you, you just have to uh, go to Wix and create a website. But it's not going to convert as if you, if you pay for something to create a website. Like let's say ClickFunnel. That's something we use to create a website and it's $300. If you want to use a high tech to create a website, then you want to use ClickFunnels, and it comes with um, you know it can automate your emails, you know, automate 
you know, that when people come in and you capture their uh, information, your cart, if you're selling something, they can sell on your behalf. Um, so it has a lot of good features for $300, or you can choose the free version. And this will always be on your site. It's going to be made by Wix. Now, advertising, you can use $0 as well. If you go and do it yourself, you go and post on groups, you post on uh, the new uh, marketplace for Google. That's what I do for my real estate business. I post houses, and I get like 6,000, 8,000 views per house for free. And then I get people messaging me about different houses. So that is free marketing for me. So if you can find a, a channel where you can advertise your business for free, try that first. But if you if you have the money and to invest and you know find out a good campaign, then you're gonna you, you're gonna start at five dollars on some campaigns just to test them out. And if you're getting some interactions and good clicks with that five dollars, then take it to fifty. You know, five to fifty dollars a day. That's where we're sitting right now as a company because we have um, ad campaigns that are bringing us five dollar a lead. So spending fifty dollars to get, you know, I think we're getting uh, at fifty dollars we're getting like I think fifty leads or something. Um, we have two campaigns spending fifty dollars. So that's a hundred dollars per day, and we're getting about fifty leads, inbound leads. If you want people to come to you, you have to spend a lot of money. But if you go to people, if you call people on the phone, that's all free. But if you're getting inbound leads, people that are hot already know you, they downloaded your checklist, they downloaded your guide, they downloaded, a, they bought a sample of your book, whatever, it's going to take some money. Um, so if you add this and this together, that's how much it takes to kind of get, get it off the ground. If you're trying to build an LLC, it's going to cost you like 125 to build an LLC, and you just you know go on Google and be like, how do I, you know, create an LLC uh, application? And then it's going to show you. It's going to show you the exact application you print out, and in the printout, it's going to send tell you where to send this application. You send it over to the state. They approve you. They, they get you get stamped. It's filed. That's it. You have a running business, and then um, now it's time to get clients. You know, after that's the first thing you should be. Focus on. Don't worry about perfecting your website. You know, perfecting the product, making it look like it's the best out there, because it's never gonna be. You know, just make sure on launching it and having people trying it. It's free, and you can advertise it to these groups up there. That costs nothing. Um, you can record content using your cell phone. Who's here has a cell phone that has a camera in it? Everybody. <laughs> Right? So use that, you know, pull it up and if you're doing the business, talk about your business nonstop. You know, and then watch that and see how are you presenting your company. And then you're gonna learn from your own videos. Right? So that's free marketing. Um paid marketing. Now this is my favorite kind of marketing because you can scale without re really doing any effort. You know, you can do something once, and if it works, you can just scale it out and keep it going, right? So paid search is number one, paid search ads. When people search on Google, there's like advertising that pop up before the main pages. That's paid search. Uh, we have Yahoo, Google, Bing, and then there's like some other searches that's, that's out there, but these are the main ones. We like to advertise on Google, uh, but it's competitive. You know, sometimes we get $12 a click, $20 a click. It's really competitive, and the prices are just going up every single day because there's more demand on online marketing. Everybody's trying to do online marketing nowadays. So paid social media boost. This is another one of my favorites. Uh, you can create a social media ad or a content piece or a video, and then if you see good attraction, you think it's a great video that represents your company, Boost it, you know. Pay Facebook to show it to other people, you know. And there's a way to do that the right way. And I want to give you a tip: when you're creating uh, an ad, an ad campaign, try to create as many variations as possible of that ad. Because Facebook, when they approve your ad, they're gonna say, "Okay, this is we have four different ads," and then they start giving inventories. This ad gets two cents per action. 
this ad gets two dollars per action, and this ad gets three dollars per action. Which one are you going to pick? Does anybody know? Three cents. Three cents, right? You're going to pick the the ad that you know is giving you the most results for the less money possible, right? And that's one of my favorite way of creating ads. You know, sometimes testing different videos, different copy, and then just finding out which one is the winner, basically. Um, when you create your Facebook or social media boost, you have to make sure you had a you have a good copy. You know, in your copy, you have to explain what's your product about, what is it that they're getting, and why they should sign up, and where they should sign up. You know what I mean? So they have an idea before they sign up. They have an idea of what they just signed up for. You know, you can't just say, "Hey, buy my product, 50% off." That's it. You have to give them why they're getting a the 50% off. Are they first timers? Are they again 50% off because they're leaving you a review? Why are they getting 50% off? Um, you need to let them know. Um, paid, you know. So when it comes to paid social media boost, uh, we have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. These are the top for me, but there's others like Twitter. Uh, there's a new one called TikTok, Snapchat. All these social medias do advertising on their platform. That's how they make money um, because that's where the attention is. You know, and um, where attention is, you have to follow it if you're a business owner. You know, this is this is where you're gonna make money. It's figuring out where my client's attention is at. If you're promoting to millennials, maybe your clients are on Instagram. That's where the attention is at. A lot of millennials are on Instagram. If you're promoting to business owners, a lot of business owners are on, on LinkedIn. So we more pay most of our money on LinkedIn. And then if you want to market to the mass, then Facebook is one of the, the platform or YouTube. That's the mass people. That's what they use. 